In this quick video, I will show you how to find your OKX wallet address. If you're planning to send crypto to OKX, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address and network because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if you're in doubt with what you're doing, you should always send a small test amount of crypto first. If you don't know what a wallet address is, then it's a string of characters used to send and receive crypto. Each address is unique and varies by cryptocurrency and will also vary if you pick a different network for sending your funds on. For example, if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. So you must always pick the correct wallet address for your deposit. So to find your wallet address on OKX, you will need to log in. Then in the top right, click on the assets button, then choose deposit from the list. Next, you will need to select the crypto that you want to get the wallet address for. So I'm going to select a Bitcoin. As I mentioned before, some cryptocurrencies can be deposited on multiple networks. For example, there are three options here and it's imperative to check which network you are sending your cryptos on, otherwise you will lose your funds. For example, if I pick the Bitcoin BTC network here, you will see a warning to the same effect. So if you press next, you will also see a warning here suggesting that you can't send any other crypto to this address. So I'm gonna okay that. And now you can see your wallet address here for Bitcoin being sent on the BTC Bitcoin network. If you were to change the network, you would see a different wallet address here. So you can copy the address by pressing the copy button here, or alternatively, you can scan the QR code to the right of this with a mobile device, as this contains your wallet address also. As I mentioned before, if you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount first, and it's always worth copying the address or using the QR code rather than typing it out manually. If you got any value from this video, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.